voltage divider rule. Okay. It's very easy one. The LC circuit, voltage supply, 10 volt. This is the R sub one. This is um, R sub two. We have the two ohm. We ohm plus minus voltage drop here, plus minus voltage drop here. Um, V sub R sub one plus V sub R sub two. E, this is the KBL rule. Okay? This is the KBL rule. Now, so V sub R sub one is, is R sub one plus R sub two over R sub one and E, okay? That was two plus three over two multiply 10, like this one, full voltage, okay? And um, V sub R sub two, same thing, the voltage divider rule here, this is, uh, Right here, voltage divider rule. Okay. Yeah. Now so one plus R sub two. Sorry, R sub two plus E two plus three over three to ten. Here, six volt. So now, here, four plus six satisfy the requirements of the in the DC circuit. This is voltage divider rule. Okay. And um, current divider. We are in the parallel circuit. Okay. Right there. Um, let's say here, for example, this is R sub one. This is R sub two. Ten volt. This is two ohm. R sub two, three ohm here. Okay. Now, now, there are two approaches. The first approach here, I sub R sub one, is the ohms low. The um, R sub one here. Okay. This is ohm's law. So that was two ohm over V sub R sub one. It's like 10 volt. It's 10 volt. The system of 10 volt. Okay, so I am. That is the answer. And the, how about this one, the I sub R sub two? The I sub R sub two. Hello. Okay, I sub R sub two is V sub R sub two over R sub two. So that was 10 volt. 3 ohm, 3.3 and So now, now, the one of this one, we learned before, R sub one parallel R sub two here. R sub one plus R sub two over one sub one in R sub two. Here we wanna find the total register, right? So five over six, 1.2 ohm. That was the total register. So I sub T is what? B e divided the R sub T. Now, the R sub T is 1.2 ohm here, and E is the 10 voltage, okay? So that was, um, calculator. here, uh, and divided 1.2 on 8.3, and so, so I sub T is the current divider rule from here, R sub one plus R sub two. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. So the I sub T, the 8.3 M. So now the another approach here from the circuit, the current divider rule here, um, let's say I sub T is what? The I sub R sub one plus I sub R sub two. Okay. So current divider rule, the I sub R sub one is R sub one plus R sub two and R sub two. Okay, be careful. Write this one, it should be different. Okay. And multiply the I sub T. And also the I sub R sub two is the um, equal to R sub one plus R sub two over R sub one multiply I sub T. So that is also difference. So that was the current divider row here, okay? So how about the three circuit? Like my Jacob maybe ask me before, write this, oops, I'm sorry. This is a circuit here, like this one. Like this one, okay? R sub one, two, and R sub three. Maybe, maybe like this one here. This is the R sub four, R sub T, E. And this is I sub R sub one, this is I sub R sub two, this is I sub R sub three, okay? So how can we the calculate it, okay? So now the I sub I sub one is, the R sub one plus R sub two, R sub three over R sub two and R sub three 
and I sub T. Okay. How about the I sub R sub two here? That was the same thing. R sub two was R sub one, pedal sub three, R sub three, so pedal, the I sub T. Okay. So how about this one here? So I sub R sub three is R sub three plus R sub one, R sub two, R sub one, and R sub two times I sub T. So now, so finally, I sub T is I sub R sub one plus I sub R sub two plus I sub R sub three. Okay. That is for three pedal, the register circuit uh, in the D circuit. Okay. It's formula for the Jacob. <laughs> okay. All right. So here, now we're going to hybrid circuit, the sample exam. Okay. Yeah. Now, this is the E voltage supply, 15 volt. This is the R sub 1. This is um, R sub 2. This is the R sub 3. This is R sub 4. Okay, R sub 3 and R sub 4. That was 750 ohm here. Oops, I'm sorry. This is not 700 support. This is 750 ohm. 1.2K ohm here. And 2K ohm here. Or 3.3 kilo ohm here. Okay, All right. So um, now, okay. step by step. Or, okay. Okay. Now, what is the total register? Okay, here. Um, first of all, like this one, you're gonna call this R sub A. R sub A, R sub 3 plus R sub 4. Okay, so that was 4.05 kilo ohm. Okay, so now we can withdraw in the circuit. R sub 1 and R sub 2 and R sub A, right? R sub A, like this one here. Now, so here, you want to one more time here. That was the R sub B. What is the R sub B? R sub two pedal, the R sub A, okay? So maybe I'm gonna skip the calculations. That was for here, the R sub one and R sub B, E, R sub D, E. So from the questions, the R sub one is what? Two KO. And R sub B is the R sub two, 1.2 kilo ohm. And pedal, the R sub A, Serious four point four point zero five k okay four point zero five k. So I'm gonna just skip the calculations. That was nine hundred twenty five point seven ohm here, right there. So it is fifteen volt. So now the R sub T is R sub one plus R sub B. That was what? That was uh, two point nine two six kilo. Right. Okay. See any questions? So now B, B, the I sub T is E and divided the R sub T. Okay. So E is what? 15 volt divided 2.926 kilo ohm is 5.13 million. C is what is a piece of T? The piece of T is the I sub T times E. Okay, so 5.13 million and 15 volt, okay, from the circuit. And that was, we have already calculated before I sub T. So that was 76.95 milliwatt, okay? And D, what is for I sub R sub 1 and I sub R sub B? So I sub R sub 1 and I sub R sub B is the I sub T, right? So this is the uh, 5.30 million. So I'm gonna rewrite it for you here, 15 volt E. And that was R sub one, that was the R sub B, okay? This is the two kilo ohm. That was, we have already, you know, the calculate before. So now, so this is why, okay? Here, is this the I sub T? I sub R sub 1, I sub R sub B, okay? This is the I sub T, plus, minus, plus, 
minus plus minus. Okay. And also the KBL rule here uh, from here, E 15 volt is V sub R sub one plus V sub R sub B. Okay. That is what we have to do. And also V sub R sub one is what? I sub R sub one multiply R sub one by using the Ohm's law. So the I sub R sub one, 5.30 milliamp. Why? Because in the previous one, we have the um, current. So the equation. So now multiply two kilo ohm here. Okay. Um, that was 10 point and 26. Oops, that's not working. 10 point 26. Cool. So how about this one, uh, V sub R sub B? Okay, right there. So R sub B is I sub R sub B times R sub B. That was 5.13 milliamp. Multiply 925.71 ohm here. That was 4.75 voltage, okay? All right, now, now, go back to the circuit. I'm gonna be redrawing for you. Is 14 volt voltage. The same circuit, okay? This is the same circuit. This is the R sub two. Oops, that's not working. This is the R sub two. That was the R sub A. Okay, now, okay, go back to the circuit. You can see, the, do you remember? Right there. From the original circuit here, the original circuit, we have O as the R sub A, okay? Right there. So here. So the question is, G, what is the I sub R sub 2 here? I sub R sub 2. I sub R sub 2, V sub R sub 2, divide R sub 2. V sub R sub 2, as we said before here, plus minus V sub R sub 2 is V sub R sub A is V sub R sub B, okay? V sub R sub B here, right there. And this is the V sub R sub B as well, okay? So that was 4.75 volt divided 1.2 kilo ohm here, 3.96 million. Okay. Um, how about the I sub? Okay, uh, writing. How about the I sub LA? Is the R sub A over V sub LA 4.75 volt divided 4.05 kilo ohm here, 1.172 million. Okay. So uh, that was for I sub RA. So now this is the I sub RA. This is I sub R sub 2. This is the I sub R sub 1. So now the, the I sub T is I sub R sub 1 is I sub R sub 2 plus I sub R sub A. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Now, the last question. So the I sub T is I sub R sub one is, as I said before, I sub R sub two plus I sub R sub A, okay? Because that was the KCL rule here. So that was 3.96 milliamp plus 1.172 milliamp was 5.30 milliamp, okay? That is the answer, okay? And we can uh, verify the I sub T is equal to I sub R sub one. That was the summation for two plus Y, the summation here, okay? Because go back to here, the I sub T, 5.13, okay, 35, thank you.